Alright, what's going on people, Ring Roadmap here. Today we're gonna do a pre-fight analysis on Sugano versus Vesalis. Now I'm gonna make this quick because I already took a, a first take of this particular analysis a while ago. However, I discovered that my mic was actually muted, so I'm gonna do it again. The first one we're gonna see with Sugano is going to be the careless hook. What he basically does here is that whenever he throws the left hook, it's either he defends with the wrong shot or he drops his guard altogether. And so I'm gonna show you guys an example right here. Here's the first one. He's gonna throw a left hook. He's gonna load up on that right hand. And when you load that right hand up, one of the things you do is you actually pull it back. When you pull it back, it's not on your guard anymore. And so that's a pretty bad angle right there. You might have not seen it. This is going to be a better angle, okay? Whenever you throw the hook and you wanna load up for that right hand, what you do, you pull it all the way back there, all right? So again, let me show you. You pull it all the way back there in order to get more power on that right hand. Again, the consequence of that, or the, the main advantage of that is that you gain more power in that particular right hand. And the disadvantage of that is that if you face a counter puncher, that split second of you pulling it back in order to put more weight on that shot can be a split second also where you can be countered. And so in my opinion, this is going to be a really good thing for Vesalis to exploit Whenever Sugano throws his left hook, he's very susceptible to the left hook in return. Of course, I know what you're gonna say. Well, this is a southpaw versus orthodox matchup. Why are you doing orthodox versus orthodox? Why are you basing it off of an orthodox versus orthodox fight? Well, it's very simple, guys. I've seen way too many southpaw versus orthodox matchups in my life already. And I know that, you know, typically the southpaw brings the same habits that he has when he fights his fellow southpaw the same way that he does when he fights the orthodox and so they do bring the same habits it's just that it takes a little more time to adjust to the different foot positioning but for the most part the same combo you throw against orthodox fighters you also throw it against southpaw and vice versa and so there's really no point in looking for a southpaw opponent here and a lot of these things even though it's orthodox versus orthodox matchup i'm pretty sure that it's also going to be the same things that suganob will do against a southpaw by the way suganob has never fought a southpaw in his pro career so this is going to be a new one for him the next thing we're going to talk about is going to be the dropping of the guard mid combinations now i really have no problem with suganob throwing uh, single shots you know when he throws single shots it looks pretty picturesque um, whenever he throws his double jabs, his jabs, his one twos, his, it looks pretty good. But when he starts throwing combinations, he starts being more open. And I know that's a little more obvious, or I know that it's already cliche. Of course, if you let your hands go, you're gonna be more vulnerable. But with Sugano, it's really dangerous because he doesn't really step back or he doesn't really have the foot speed in order to compensate for his lack of blocking skills. And so I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Now, if you guys throw your punches like this, and then you drop your guard on your left hook, you better be sure that you know how to step back on time when your opponent tries to counter you. That's why if you look at Ray Vargas, although Ray Vargas does not have a, the good guard or the good fundamentals to block his shot, he drops his hand also, he drops his guards, he drops his hands also whenever he throws combos, but because he has pretty good sp foot speed, he knows how to step back on time. With Tsukanov, it's not the same thing. Uppercut left hook doesn't step back as he goes or he becomes very heavy on that front leg Which will make it difficult to step back and so as you can see there he found it hard when Sueño finally decided to throw a counter at him And so again here when he starts enjoying these combinations starts dropping that guard and What do we know about Vizelas? Vizelas is a great counter puncher He knows how to catch that body shot on his elbows and to counter in a matter of milliseconds guys in a matter of milliseconds He just catches that body shot and he will counter you with an uppercut And so this is a dangerous habit, you know, even on or whatever side it may be Vizelas will be able to block and counter everything. So The next thing we'll look at is going to be the defenseless jab or the defenseless jabs of Sueño or of um, Sugano. Now, this comes in two ways. Number one, whenever he throws his jabs, he tends to assume or he tends to defend the wrong punch in return. Okay, so what you'll see with with Sugano is that he will throw a jab and then he will parry. And so by parrying, he gets open for the check hook. And this is actually a great thing that Sueño was able to exploit when he fought um, Sugano. 
is the fact that whenever Sukuna will throw his jab, as you can see here, he's gonna throw his jab, he's gonna assume a wrong counter punch in return. He always assumes that it's going to be a jab in return. So what does he do? He extends that right glove out. And so Suenya was able to figure this out and he was like, instead of jabbing with him, I'm going to wait for him to jab and then throw a check right here when his right glove is out of position. So here's another defenseless jab. He's gonna throw another jab, but yeah. And then again, he assumes the wrong punch in return. He tries to parry, or he, well, he didn't try to parry here, but his hand was definitely not protecting his face fully. Is that loose guard, guys, when you're a combination puncher, a lot of combination punchers get away with bullying their opponents, but they never get to develop their blocking skills, so, you know. That's why Sugano, or I think that's why Sugano also has not developed his guard yet, because he just, he's just used to overwhelming his opponents with a lot of volume, okay? Next thing we'll talk about is going to be the right hook vulnerability. What we'll see with Sukuno again is that he's very prone to right hands as well. Not only to left hands, he's also very prone to right hands. Here he's gonna throw a 1-6. And that's because he doesn't pull his jab back to guard really quickly. And he doesn't step back on time. Which is the worst recipe for being, or which is the worst recipe for fighting counter punchers. If you don't know how to step back and you don't know how to block either, what the fuck do you have left? You know, Sugano does not have great head movement either, so what the fuck do you have left? Nothing, you know? You can only make up for it with your offense. And once that offense becomes predictable, once you face a counter puncher who knows how to disrupt your offense, it's gonna be over. And so that's one example here. Let's see another one, right hand vulnerability here. So when you will fake a jab, I think? Or no, he will fake a lead left, he will throw a left hook and then he'll throw a cross right there. Great offense by Swenyu, he just didn't have enough firepower, or he just didn't have enough weight on his punches in order to really hurt Suganam. And that's why Suganam, ooh, see that shit? Motherfucker, Suganam actually knows how to step back, okay, I take it back, motherfucker. I take my argument back, he actually knows how to step back, but he still got hit. Right? He doesn't know how to step back on time, that's what I'm trying to say. So I know what you dorks is gonna say. Well, I've seen Sugano fight and he knows how to step back. Shut the fuck up. He knows how to step back, but he doesn't step back on time. That's all I'm trying to say. But again, he makes up for it with tremendous volume. I'm gonna give him that, guys. This guy has a lot of volume. His combinations are sharp. You know, I'm not gonna judge whether he's powerful or not because, you know, I've never been hit by him. But his combinations are sharp as shit. It's just a defense that you have to be worried about with him. And with a great counter puncher like Vesalis, this is gonna be, guys, I hate to say it, this is gonna be easy work, okay? The next thing we're gonna talk about is the overcommitted right hooks, which I think Vesalis can counter a lot. So as you can see, he's gonna throw a 1 4 to the body. He's gonna get extremely heavy on the front leg. What does that mean? When you get extremely heavy on the front leg, you cannot step back on time. Well, uh, but but Suenyo has, or but uh, Sugano still has head movement and he still has blocking. I know, I know, I know. But the problem is, he doesn't have that too. He doesn't have that too. So it's not gonna work either. Okay? If you're gonna be overly heavy on the front leg, you better be sure that you can either move your head out of the way or you can step back on time. Or no, not step back on time. Or you can block on time. Because when you're overly heavy on the front leg, it's pretty much over. You cannot step back anymore. Let's see another one. One, one, four. Again, boom, off balance right there. Look what he does here. He steps back, but it doesn't step back quick enough. I think Vizela's counter will be quicker than his step back. Let's see another one. This one is the most apparent. Look at that shit. He's gonna throw a right hook. He's gonna square up. This split second right here of staying in that position, Vizela's can throw his counter shot. I think Vizela's is quick enough to throw his counter shot in between those wild right hooks. Of Sukuno. And then finally, I just don't think that Sukuno can keep up with the foot speed of Vizelis. If Vizelis knows how to use angles, he knows how to use gazelle steps, he knows how to how to fight in circles, he knows how to fight straight forward, right? And so, it's gonna be a really tough night for Sukuno, guys. He's gonna deal with angles that he's never dealt with before. Let me remind you that uh, Sukuno has never fought a southpaw, and so the angles are gonna be way different. And if you look at this fight, he also had difficulties with the gazelle steps, you know, with the gazelle punches. So that's one thing that Vizelis is really good at. He's good at um, using gazelle punches. By the way, if you haven't checked out my breakdown on Vizelis, this is your time to do it now because all that I'm talking about here, you're gonna see it there. You know, I'm not just talking out of my ass here. I actually have clips to back up what I'm saying. 
you know, so if I say that Vizelis is a good counter puncher, he has a good left hand, good counter left hand, good catch and shoot, check out my breakdown, you're gonna see everything there. All right, let's see the last one here. Again, that foot speed is just, I'm not saying that Tsukano has no footwork, he obviously, he obviously does, he does show shades of, you know, lateral movement and all this shit, but when he starts getting offensive is where he gets flat footed. And I think he's gonna be more offensive in this fight, because Bizelle is, is not gonna fucking trade with him, he's not gonna initiate as much as he wants him to be. And so I think Sukano will be the initiator, and um, Vizelis will just time him eventually. So this is gonna be easy work guys, I think Vizelis got this one. However, I do know that Sukano Phil has a lot of fans too here in the Philippines. And for my US viewers out there, please guys, be open to this shit, you know? Try to discover our boxers here in the Philippines, you won't be disappointed. Well, you might be, but um, you're gonna be excited pretty much. If you're looking for a tactician, you know, we're still working on that shit. But if you're looking for exciting fights, go ahead and look at our local fights, guys. It's it's nice, it's fucking exciting. So that was it, I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.